four card oracle four questions figure out what they are and i hope you like the video if you do like it then please do like it and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and thank you very much for watching Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, you got to get your questions right. That's the key to the whole thing. Find out what it is concentrate on what it is that's important to you to uh, divine in this in this uh, draw here okay one two three four things doesn't matter but just get it really set in your brain now once you've got that all settled out everything sorted out in your head throw it out into the universe just just wish it away okay and I'm gonna be over here to catch it so this is the wild unknown tarot by Kim Kranz and these cards are really nice cards. She's put some very thoughtful messages in this uh, really uh, nice uh, guide box or guidebook uh, or <laughs> packaging that she's included. The guidebook is a really cool quality. The cards are co completely fully depicted here, not in color, but um, you know, there's not much color in the cards anyway. And there's some very thoughtful ideas as to the divination of the cards. So uh, Kim Kranz did a beautiful job with this. Then it's got a, a box within a box. So I, I like to call the inner sanctum. Another nice message inside this box and the cards. Well, there's a little something lacking in the cards. And I'll tell you what it is, is that the uh, quality of them isn't doesn't make them the easiest cards to use. Um, the cards are thin. Um, they don't uh, spread out very well, but the meaning in the cards is unbelievable. And you'll see uh, right here as I put them out for you. All this detail that you see, this is hand drawn. Every single, all of these lines, all of this repetitiveness that you see in here is, um, is Kim Cran's work. Uh, her and so it really makes you feel like some a lot of thought a lot of intention went into each and every drawing that you have here and so and like I always say I spread these cards out in the beginning here so that you can kind of get a look at a full deck of cards if you don't collect cards or if you don't see lots of variety of cards all the time and I'm kind of a crazy person that buys a lot of cards um, sadly um, but um, they make for a very nice um, experience when you're doing divination with these cards. Kim Kranz, The Wild and Untarot. But you know, before we get started, I'm going to take just a minute, just a second really, maybe two, for a little contemplation. That's all it takes, just to get centered. So we're going to see with four cards if we can get to four answers. It will be yes, no, or maybe uh, for whatever issues uh, that you're dealing with right now. Okay. So the Wild and Antero is going to zoom in for us. Four card oracle. And then, uh, you know, of course, like always, after the four cards, then I'll take each one with a die to cross to finish it up and get some further uh, insight. Nice, slow spread of the cards because these cards don't like to spread out that much. I'll take four cards. One, two, three, and four. Put them out. One, two, three, four, but we'll count them the other way, actually. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. You can stop this tape. You're in complete control if you need a minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know what I'm going to say, four. <laughs> so, here we go. If you chose number one, this is the Daughter of Cups. So this is like the um, Page of Cups, all right? This is the uh, card who is, and look how beautiful this, this Daughter of Cups is. Cups are emotions, compassion, um, and, you know, deep heartfelt issues. And the Daughter of Cups is just making it appear. She's bringing it to court to say, look, 
This is a message. This is a message I have for you, and it's a compassionate one. You may not want to do anything with it, but if you do, it's right here. We're going to take five more cards to help finish this out. So we got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, these will work on the energy there. And we'll find a challenge to this Daughter of Cups, this message of a compassion or an emotional issue. Ah, this is uh, challenged by the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is leaving something emotional or compassionate behind. A lot of loss, okay? And in this card, you can't really tell if these chalices broken or are they just covered in midnight. So this deep uh, feeling of having to leave something behind, much like this little uh, Daughter of Cups uh, duckling is leaving behind this uh, compassionate issue. The base of this reading, then, is with this Eight of Wands is, uh, you know, a lot of issues happening, a spark, a fire, uh, lots of uh, plans that either are coming together or being burst apart. So the, the beginnings of this was from some sort of a deep felt plan. The past of this reading, oh, inverted. OK, so here we have the hangman. And the hangman is typically looking at something from another perspective. But I'm going to say that when this card is inverted, it means we may be seeing things um, a little clearer than uh, we thought we were. And uh, that introspection may not be all it's cut out to be. In the sky of this reading, what have I done? Have I turned this over? I did turn this over. This would have been like this. Okay, in the sky of this reading is this Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is really being flush with all the value that uh, that is uh, um, that is yours. Okay, so you've got this. You have this. Don't worry about it. And then the um, likely outcome for all of this is temperance, finding that balance. Okay. So there we go. So the Daughter of Cups brings this issue to four. We uh, The challenge is feeling like we've got to leave some of this compassionate uh, situation behind. We had a spark of a lot of issues going on. This uh, um, hanged man is telling us that maybe we were seeing things clearer than we thought. We have a lot of value in our opinion, and defining the temperance is what's going to help us with this. And if I didn't say it to begin with, which I don't think I did, this Daughter of Cups is a yes card. Okay, the fact that I didn't do that must have a reason, so we'll just work through this uh, divination um, anyway. Chose number two. That's the moon card. Secrets being revealed. Okay, so we're going to see why. And uh, secrets being revealed is a yes card, but it's a cautious yes. Okay. Yeah, very cautious uh, yes card. Uh, wondering... Um, you know, what are we going to do with these secrets? Do we really want to know all about them? Yes, card secrets being revealed. Five cards. And five. Put this back over here to work. Get a challenge. Challenge to this, these secrets. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is happy family. Everything you can imagine that's good. So these secrets are challenged by the uh, security that we feel we already have. The base of this reading then with the six of uh, wands is, um, <clears throat> oh, my mind is completely blank right now. Uh, six of wands. You know, I'm not the guy that's ashamed to say that I've uh, missed out. Uh, travel, pride, good news, success, victory. Oh, victory. Yeah. So the Six of Wands is actually, look, it's a rebirth. It's a victory. It's all these actions have played up to their ultimate uh, positive uh, end, and that is a victory. And that's how we came into these secrets being revealed. Pass to this reading again, this hanged man. If he was this way, we say, you know, he's looking at something from another perspective. But the fact is, we didn't really need another perspective. We had all the angles on this that we needed. In the uh, sky of this reading is the Eight of Pentacles, and, um, oh boy, Eight of Pentacles. Again, the one's a blank. This is not good. I've got to uh, practice this a bit more. 
the eight of pentacles uh perfecting skills gaining knowledge hobby motivation education so the end of, Pente end of pentacles is really being uh, you know having everything lined up exactly the way it should where we've we found some perfection in our value, just like this spider has found the perfect balance in his value. The likely outcome of this, with this Empress, this number three card of the Major Arcana, is having all the empowerment that we possibly need. So we move from the secrets being revealed uh, right into uh, the top of the pack. So nice big uh, uh, yes card. That, um, this wheel right here is going to go in the correct way, finally. I chose the number three card. This is the Hermit. So the Hermit is really getting introspection, really making sure you're positive which way you're going to go before you do it, not taking a wrong foot. And so this is kind of a no card. This is, uh, wait just a minute before you uh, make a movement, okay? We're going to need... Five cards to finish this out. We got one, we have two, three, four, and five. This uh, hermit, this introspection is challenged by ill intentions. Some, okay, so the devil card. <clears throat> so we want to make sure. That if we're going into this deep introspection about what are we going to do next, let's not be tempered by m m making a selfish choice. The base of this reading with this three of uh, swords is just a broken heart. Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And uh, this card right here tells us that uh, the the basis of this, the basis of this um, this no question was steeped in a disappointment. The past this reading, I when the cards repeat. So we've got this eight of wands. Again, lots of issues, lots of plans, lots of motion that for some reason led up to uh, having to take this, this deep look inside. And in the sky, this with this mother of swords, this is like the queen of swords, and swords of truth, justice, rule, and law. And you can't get much stronger, except for the king, than a queen of swords. So we are fully um, invested in the our conviction for what's going to happen here um with this uh six of uh of uh, wands here again victory so even though we started out with the caution of a no worried about uh, ill intentions born from a broken heart um challenged by a lot of issues we have the uh conviction of shooting for the most noble choice and then we can turn this no into a victory. Sometimes no is the correct answer. We chose for number four. Then we've got the star. The star is the absolute epitome. It's having reached the uh, the top. Okay, really being the spotlight, the center, uh, the most important thing. It's a big yes card. Okay, I'm going to take five of those. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, the challenge to all of this glitter, <clears throat> again, man, this card just wants to be played today. The hangman, but in this case, it is having some introspection into the spotlight. The Mother of Pentacles. This is like the Queen of Pentacles. So this is the Queen of all of that um, of all that value. Passed to this reading with the Son of Swords. So this is like the Knight of Swords. Okay, he's going to get this job done. Mom said, "Take this truth, justice, rule, or this law, and you go out there and uh, and make it work." In the sky of this reading with his Two of Pentacles is really finding the balance uh, of that perfect harmony. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing with Temperance is just a reinforcement of that. But in the Major Arcana saying, yeah, this Yes card is going to be the perfect, the perfect, the perfect answer to what we're dealing with here. So we started out as a star card, really shining a light on this issue. We need to look at, it was challenged by looking at it from another perspective. But the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of all that value was right here to help us nurture and, and make sure 
that we understood the value that we have. With the Son of Swords, Mom says, take this truth, justice, rules, and law and get it done. And that's how we came into this decision. Finding a perfect balance of our worth is going to mean that we find the perfect temperance in our value. <laughs> so, yes. And I hope some of that was useful for you today. So I really pray that that worked out for you, that you got something good out of all of that. And I did my best on this end. And you know what? If it didn't ring true for you today, that's fine. Just let it go. Maybe tune into it later or just come back tomorrow and we'll do something else. But uh, I enjoyed the time that we had to do this together. So great. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.